Innovating Education Learning World in association with WISE, an initiative of Qatar Foundation. In the modern era, learning languages can be more important than ever. It can boost your chances of a new job or help you communicate in a more and more connected world. Besides, what cognitive benefits does learning new languages have? Why is it easier for some people than for others to learn a new language? Is there a link between musicality and languages? Are there certain factors that help? Musicality is one of the key factors influencing our ability to learn foreign languages. Could you sing Happy Birthday in the best way you can? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. We're in a small studio in Vienna. Marcus, a PhD student, is researching how musicians perform when it comes to language skills. We compared to the participants' ability to repeat new and unfamiliar material, language material, so which means, for example, Tagalog or Hindi or languages they have never heard before. And then we found that musicians perform remarkably better. If musicians are better than the average language learners, singers are even better. That's because the areas of their brains responsible for voice imitation are more developed. This is one of Professor Weiterer's findings. She's now improving her Spanish and is a good example of her own theory. She used to be a jazz singer and now speaks five languages. But you need more than talent to learn a language. If you rely on talent alone, you will probably fail. Because uh, you need a lot of exper uh, experience and exercise. You need training. Singing ability is only one factor that improves language learning. Professor Reiterer says there are 20 divided into four clusters. There are biological factors like DNA and testosterone level, social factors like education, linguistic ones like the similarity of the foreign language and the mother tongue. And then there were many factors like musicality, uh, personality, working memory capacity, which motivation, which I didn't, which didn't clearly either fall into the biological nor the social domains, so and why I, I called them psychological factors. According to the studies, there are not so many people who are specifically untalented for languages. They're always normally distributed. You have most people in the middle, in the medium range, and 70% are mediumly um, talented, if you want, and and 15%, like 10 to 5 or 15% are very, very much over above the average, very highly talented, and 15% are lower talented. Professor Reiterer and her fellows also say that, despite previous beliefs, you need the entire brain to learn a foreign language, and there's no upper age limit to start learning. A stuck picture. It's stuck in the minds of our society that older people or elderly people can't do anything anymore, um, cognitively or even motorically. Mm, but I think they can do more than they believe and they should just try. <laughs> Does being bilingual really boost your child's intelligence and how does it work for families with different cultural backgrounds? To find out more, let's go to your news headquarters in Lyon, France, where a lot of mixed couples work. In this Tower of Babel with 13 languages and more than 30 nationalities, communication is key. The daily routine at Euronews in Lyon, Maha is Lebanese, editor Poppy, French, and journalist Cassia, Russian. Cassia came to France 15 years ago, already speaking English and Italian, so she had to learn French, but then she met Ricardo at Euronews and he's Portuguese. At the beginning when we met, we'd talk in English. 
because neither Katya spoke Portuguese nor me Russian. But as we started to learn each other's language, we started to talk in our own languages. Today it's automatic. I talk to her in Portuguese. She answers in Russian. And that's how we talk to each other. And we understand everything. <laughs> And so do their kids, Daniel, Alexandra and Dimitri. They've been trilingual since the cradle. Does being bi or trilingual make children smarter? Neuroscientist Ellen Bialystok thinks that it's not necessarily a matter of intelligence, but flexibility. We can't say that we're either French, Russian or Portuguese. We've got international parents, we're all three. I feel... Hey, say it in Portuguese. I feel more French because I was born in France and spent most of my life in French schools. I think I'm more French. I know I'm also Portuguese and Russian, but I feel more French. Studies show bilingual children have more empathy and are better problem solvers. <gasps> To nurture their kids' mother and father tongues, Katia and Ricardo choose Leon's international school, CSI. About 500 bilingual children go to the elementary school, which has eight language sections. The song is in Italian because one of the Italian pupils is celebrating her birthday. But this is a French class. Alexandra's French teacher says that despite the children's different roots, they all have something in common. They're very curious and open-minded about a lot of things. They're keen to learn about other countries and cultures. At my previous schools, people were more on their own. Canadian research suggests that bilingualism may delay the onset of Alzheimer's disease. Bilingual people sometimes get their languages mixed up. The risk for bilingual children is that if they don't have a stable foundation in one of their mother tongues, it has an impact on the second language as well with phonetic errors and confusions. You can find French words in written Portuguese texts, or sometimes they also try to Frenchify Portuguese words. So even bi or trilingual children need one strong language, otherwise they become semi-literate, in which case they should go to a French school to progress in a monolingual environment. That's according to the school's principal. Studies show that from day one bilingual children rely on one majority language. If you don't have this dominant language, learning gets complicated. Instead of relying on one language, you start mixing the languages, and that's what we want to avoid, at any cost. Are you bilingual? Tell us what helped you learn a foreign language. We are on social media as usual, so don't hesitate to drop us a line there. Goodbye for now. Learning World, in association with WISE, an initiative of Qatar Foundation.